Hello everyone, this is Dave May from DCM Bioservices. Today we'll be walking you through how to teach the deck on a Biomech FX or NX system using the multi-channel pod. As always, if you don't feel comfortable performing any of these steps, please reach out to us at service at dcmbio.com and we'll be happy to assist you. So there's a few reasons why you want to teach the deck. One is if you're adding a brand new Alp to the deck, so say you have a one by one position you want to add to the deck, you would need to put that on, teach it, so the software and the hardware sync up in the positions. Another reason is if you find that one of your positions is off a little bit, for example, if you have the tip loader and it's not loading tips so well, you want to reteach it and get it lined back up so the tips are on correctly. Or if any of the other positions are off, you want to reteach those. For teaching the deck on the multi-channel pod, you want to make sure everything is home, especially the D-axis, because that's where the teaching plate is going to go. So for this procedure, we're going to need the AccuFrame, which is usually hooked in the back. Everybody stores it usually in the back of the instrument. We're going to put it in the position that we want to teach. Make sure it's all the way down in. We're going to need the teaching tool, this for the multi-channel pod. There's only one way to put this on. There's four screws on the teach tool that need to be lined up on the head. So once you put this in position, they should line up with the screw holes in the bottom of the head. Just give them a turn for a hand tight is good. So do the two screws on the outer side and just on the reverse position. All right, so once you got the teach tool on, we're gonna go over to the software and tell it to teach that position. In the software, we're going to go to Instrument, Deck Editor, and the Deck Editor shows you a graphical representation of what's on the deck. We find the position we want to teach, in this case it's P7, double click on it, it opens up the Position Properties tab, click on Auto Teach, it'll go over top of the position, and it'll ask you is it okay to go down by a certain centimeters, just say yes, or just say okay and it'll go down and do its teaching routine. So once this is done in the software, it'll tell you the change in the position since last time it was taught. You say okay, and okay again, and then just, if you need to teach more than one position, just move on to the next position, move your AccuFrame to that new position, and go back in the software and just repeat that process over again. You may get into a situation where you auto-teach the position and not all the lights light up. So if that's the case, you go and move the pod until you see all the lights light up, go over to the software, and instead of auto-teach, you press teach. And then once everything is taught, we make sure we save it to save all the position data. We come back over here and make sure you take this off before doing anything. Because if you forget to take this off and you home the instrument, it's gonna lock it on the, on the head pretty tight. That's why there are screw holes in here so you can put a screwdriver in and, and unlock it. Sometimes your configuration has a wash station or other Alps that need to be taught differently. There's a special adapter plate that goes in. So it has two pins on the back. And usually it goes into A1 and H12. And it has the ability to put the AccuFrame in it and teach. Um, if you had a 384 configuration, this adapter plate would be blue. And it would go in the same way. It has two pins on it. And you would teach that position the same way you would any other position. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them in the comments. Check out our other videos on automation how to's and visit our website at dcmbio.com for other service options. If you need help, please email us at service at dcmbio.com. The links will be below for our website, our email, and our LinkedIn.